welcome to the Aquaspresso Coffee Academy and today I'm going to be telling you the difference between renting to own a coffee machine or financing a coffee machine. So often people think a rent to own is, is pretty much the same thing as a financing of a coffee machine just said differently but not really the case. There are a few important differences. When you finance a machine through a bank or through a company which um, sells or resells your machine through a bank or an asset finance house, what you're typically doing is, is just buying the machine on credit and you're paying interest over time and over three years typically, or three to five years, you're owning that machine. But your service or, or your support that you get is no difference from buying the machine on the first day. It's all the difference that you're paying it over time. Rent to owning machine is quite different because when you go on a rent to own type structure, you're essentially also paying it off over a number of years, but you still, for the most part, have the benefits of a rental. And those are, are, are typically three major benefits. So number one, when you, when you rent or when you rent to own a machine, if the machine is not right for you, so let's say six months down the line or a year down the line, you, you got this machine and you just find it's too small for you, as an example. No problem, on a rent-to-own structure, you can change it. You can change it any time in a rent-to-own. So you still have that flexibility where, again, on a financing option, it's like you bought the machine. So no option to really change the machine. Second thing which is, which is different on a rent-to-own type structure is that you get maintenance and support with it. Again, on a financing structure, you typically buy the machine, that's what it is, and you can pay extras in some cases for a, for a maintenance or service plan, but on a rent-to-own, that's typically included. That's what you're paying for. And thirdly, and probably I would say financially most important, that on a rent-to-own structure, your rental for the most part is subsidized or discounted based on how much coffee you buy. So for example, if you used a lot of coffee on a rent-to-own structure, you typically pay a very small amount in rental, and that small amount is usually smaller than the purchase price of the machine, even if you purchase it on day one. So how does that work? Well, the coffee company who's ever giving you a rent-to-own structure is making money off selling the coffee to you, and therefore they're using some of that profit from that coffee to subsidize that rental you're paying each month. So you can actually get quite a good deal on a rent-to-own structure, and you can actually end up paying less for the machine than if you bought it on the first day, and you get to pay it over three years. So rent-to-own structure, in some cases, can be a great thing, and I'll say it gives almost always a lot more value than just going on a financing option. I hope that helps. I hope you make the right choice. Thanks so much.